Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Sir Ket today because, well, she's actually kind of a fire character, if I'm being honest, but also because I wanted to play set. And spoiler alert, probably going to be a set video very soon. Um, I wanted to play set, but they banned it. And in fact, I'm pretty sure this person knew, <laughs> knew it was me because they banned a lot of, don't get me wrong, just generally top characters in the game mode. <laughs> um, well, I will check that out in just a second. Um, they banned a bunch of top characters in the game mode, but still, I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. They banned a lot of my character, a lot of the characters I play, at least like half of them. Like, they started it off with like set. Actually, dude, what should I, what should I get? Um, yeah, we'll get this one. Why not? Why not? They banned, uh, set, Al Kwong, and there was one other one that, that I was like, what the heck, man? You know, what, what the heck, man? Obviously, they knew it was me. Um, but they are still just generally good bands. I know that, but. <clears throat> uh, hold on. I thought you were the last guy. <clears throat> there we go. I hope my keyboard noises aren't too, uh, too loud for you guys. Oh, it like, wait, it like just hit me that I don't have my, uh, my little filter on. That I normally have edit filters. Uh, no, no, no. Noise suppression add. Okay. Hopefully that makes it better for you guys. I apologize if that was annoying or maybe. Um, or maybe it was no difference. I don't know. Uh, I think my filter cuts out a lot of my uh, keyboard noise and stuff. I think it also probably like if you hear my microphone peak. You know, like when I uh when I like yell or whatever, which I try not to yell too much in videos. Uh, for multiple reasons but um if you ever hear like if i make like a high-pitched noise or like a, a, a loud noise and um it like kind of muffles that's my that's my filter which I, I don't really love that that part of it i don't really care that much that it filters out my like screaming or whatever i just i want it because uh, it helps with like background noise that i may or may not have in my house at the time and it also helps with the keyboard noise which i know what the Dude, okay, okay, okay. I was really, really hoping that archers would have killed her so much sooner. I was, I, cause she was like one HP. I was basically just waiting for the shell to wear off. But if we're being honest, another thing that happened there is I got distracted or not distracted. Yeah, I got distracted by talking and I didn't realize I didn't have my three. Like, I feel like in my head, I knew I didn't start my three, but I feel like in my head, I thought that I leveled up to four. <laughs> I definitely tried to press my three there and like kill her with it slash run away at the same time. Like I was gonna hit her with it and then kite backwards, but I was distracted, whatever. Dude, did she just crit me? Like, did I actually just get crit twice? Is this real life right now? Oh, okay. All right, so we're starting this game off really good. Really, really, really starting this game off really good. And we're looking good here for sure. Okay, okay, we got to lock in, man. That's so annoying, though. That really is so annoying that I lost like half my HP. I mean, I should have lost a good amount of HP. It's not like me getting crit is the only reason I got hurt there. But like, it certainly did not help. Did a lot. Okay, that knock up is so cringe, man. It's so cringe. Her one and only CC. How dare she? <laughs> Wait, she doesn't have her ult, right? Okay. I want to invade her blue. And maybe I could, because I do have a jump. But, like, it's kind of risky, you know? Because she's Jingwei, and she can fly back. It's the main thing. Uh, we'll get ourselves a brisk plate. I think we played that pretty well. Uh, I mean, we definitely could have played it a little bit better. But that makes up for my horrible early game yeah I'll, you know i'm gonna be honest obviously i was distracted but i was also just underestimating jingwei early game like not to say i thought it was like terrible but it's just like a you know a hunter that doesn't do that much damage in the early game she's mostly like a scaling character so i feel like in my head i thought nothing could go wrong but like multiple things went wrong oh i thought she was gonna go for the other chester did that wave clear? Oh, she has the shard too. Yeah, that makes sense. Why wouldn't she have the shard? 
speaking of which, this shard, if you guys notice, I have like gooseberries basically, like in my autos clear, uh, in like an AOE. That's because of uh, gooseberries. Except it's not gooseberries, it's like a new, sh it's like a shard, because recipes are gone. It's like a, I think it's a weaker version of gooseberries, not entirely sure on that, I don't remember the stats. But it's basically gooseberries that you get to start the game with. And uh, it's not, there's now a uh, passive shards. So like, I have a shard that you don't activate ever. Like when I press G, nothing happens. You don't activate the shard, it just passively is gooseberries. That's so annoying. He stole my scepter, man. Okay. Well, now his, his ult's down. And I have an, another point into my one. Making it do big boy damage. That's her knockup. Wow, I cannot believe he let me do that. <laughs> I feel like that was the most like predictable play ever and I understand I'm you know That's coming from the guy who just played the early game like the first two Engagements terribly like you know everybody has those days. I think Miley Cyrus or Hannah Montana said that I don't know but the point is is uh, I, I, I Actually cannot believe that just happened. I, I feel like I just kind of waddled in there like he had his dash up He had his WASD keys up and I just waddled in there and killed him. I don't know Oh no. Is that a crit item? Oh my goodness. Of course it's a crit item. What else would it be? Come on, man. Kind of just like PVEing him right now, but I do not feel bad whatsoever because, hey man, I'm doing what I gotta do. Oh. Okay, we're backing up. We're backing up. We're backing up. I just don't feel like my fight potential is super, super great right now. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. All what I do know for a fact though is Serket scales really well. She has a very good late game. So I'm just trying to get to the point where I have full cooldown, got my transcendence stacked up, and then I can own her. Although, I know that, obviously, Jingwei is a hunter, and I think, if you were being thin because I haven't played him that much, I think that crit is really strong right now, especially this item. Because I've seen this item before, I've streamed a little bit, and this item gives you a shield, basically, when you're full HP, kind of like a Robin shield, um, and stuff like that, which is interesting. Um, so I, I'm aware her late game is really good, but Sir Ket's late game is very good too, so we'll see. And assassins usually have very good ways of dealing with hunters late game. Not always, but a lot of assassins, if you play well, can deal with hunters pretty well. Um, I think I'm just gonna go thorns. Like, they did change thorns though, so I'm not sure if this is a bad idea or not. They made it to where it like blows up, like, I don't know if it's weaker or not, to be honest with you than the thorns we had previous to this patch. I just know that they changed how it works just a little bit. So we're about to find out. I'm going to the tower. I see this is what I mean by thorns. It's like a big circle now. Oh no. Oh, he missed that. He could have killed me, I think. Oh. Maybe I should have been a little bit more aggro there, I don't know. Dingway's just so safe, man. She really is. She's so safe, man.
Dude, once I start getting my free crit rolling, though, I think we might be chilling. Hopefully. Hopefully we're chilling. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted right now, to be honest with you. There's a... What's it called? Uh, so, somebody just came home, and I don't, I don't know who it is. Not like it's a stranger, but more like probably just one of my family members that came by unannounced, and I don't know. Okay, well. Might as well just give up that red buff, because I already took way too long trying to do whatever I was doing. God, this is so annoying, man. Like, not to say this guy should play this any differently than they are, by any means, you know? Like, play the game, you know? Go hard. But, with that being said, it's so annoying how aggressive they're being. Because, it, just off the simple fact that they know they can be that aggressive, because their character is so freaking safe, man. Like, their character is brain-dead safe. So, I mean, like, that's, like, that's what I'm trying to... Kind of like what I'm trying to say, is I'm not really mad at the, the player. I'm irritated with the, the god. Like, look, I just lost half my HP, and literally nothing happened. <laughs> Literally nothing happened. She dashed away and shot me like two or three times. Nothing happened. And I'm half HP. Oh my goodness. And they, that would be fine if she was playing like a character that was like, you know, uh, what's it called? If she was playing a character that was uh, easy to kill or even like moderately easy to kill, like in the middle. But no, she's playing a character that's incredibly difficult to kill, like almost impossible to kill if they play smart and safe. And, uh, I get half health by three auto attacks, no abilities. Oofertons. And now she has Demon Blade. Oh my god, I'm gonna need a Spectral so bad. Like, even with the Spectral, I might be owned, but... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think I can win with the Spectral. It sucks having to go double defense, but I really do think I have to. I would assume this Bull Demon's just dead, but I'm gonna go there anyways, because why not? What? What happened to my old man? I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I definitely ulted. Dude, my phoenix is so dead. I don't really see a way I defend this thing, but... I mean, like, I basically just have to int onto him. Ugh. Okay, so we got we got the minion wave. Which is good. Gonna buy a power potion. Hope for the best here. We don't have either relic. We don't have our ult. Again, I, I, part, of, part of me thinks that her hitting me is actually good because it distracts from the, the Phoenix, but to be honest, I don't think anything really is going to matter that much. Like, minions are in there now, too. Like, ugh, this is so cringe. What a cringe character, man. I'm really glad they added her back to Duel. <laughs> really having a fun time. All right, we got our ult. That's big. Just kidding, it's not big at all. One thing I will say about it, though, is her ult cooldown is obviously going to be on a way higher cooldown than mine. Because I have full cooldown and she has nothing, so. Modesty. I like how I said I needed a spectral like ASAP and then I bought a power potion and um I bought a power potion and uh a glyph. I mean I think these things are really good for me though. Like I needed them in the short term to try to defend. But the problem with that strategy is like I didn't defend very well, so Oh my god, no way, we clutched that up. 
Nice, dude. We didn't even have to use our blink either. It's good. Let's go. Her ult was still down. Yo, wait. So I got a kill because of because uh, I made her ult earlier because I ulted in like such a weird way. I mean, it wasn't like a weird way. I just kept trying to like taunt her off of her thing, her objective or whatever you want to call it. All right, we're just going to back here. No, not her objective. Dude, I'm so frazzled right now. I'm so distracted. I keep hearing noises. So distracted. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was trying to get her off of her one. She kept jumping on her, uh, her knocky uppy thingy. And I was trying to get her, get her to not dash. So I kept taunting her and uh, ulting her off of it. And I guess it panned out in the end. All right, well, there's, there's her knock up. All right, we traded ult for ult again. Or, well, actually, not necessarily, because I had to use my blink there. Although, maybe it's worth it, because I think by the time this red buff spawns, her ult will still be down. And I will... Uh, my thorns is coming up somewhat soon. And my ult's gonna come up, too. Like, maybe maybe I just did the exact same thing I did last time. We'll see. But, except I had to trade my... She gonna fight for the red buff or does she just want my phoenix and my ult's coming back up thorns up in five my thorn should be up right after this oh <laughs> yo i'm telling you assassin's late game bro assassin's late game are so good I was trying to tell you guys, which I'm not I'm not gonna pretend like this guy's playing it perfectly. Also, ah, I think about it. Has this dude has he beads once? Is he beadsing and I'm just not realizing it? Like I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> I don't know. But um I'm not gonna pretend like uh, this guy was playing this game perfectly or anything, especially late game. I don't think he expected me to do as much damage as I did. I don't, th I don't think he expected the game to turn on its head like that the second I got spectral. <laughs> but That being said, <clears throat> let's be real, okay? This is one of those videos. It kind of feels like it's been a lot of videos here recently that this has happened, which kind of, like, inspires me a little bit, honestly, that, like, I need to start... <clears throat> I need to start playing better. Man, I need, I need to stop the excuses, like, the whole, oh, I just woke up, which everything I say is true. It's true. Like, when I just wake up or I haven't played the game in three days, blah, 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 blah. Um, for those who don't know, I'm in Platinum because... I'm in Platinum because the rank reset, because I know all of you got not all of you guys uh, follow that kind of stuff. Everybody got reset back down to Bronze 3. This is how many games I've played so far. Sorry, I had to cough there. Um, but as far as um, as far as far that game goes and builds and stuff, dude, I don't know. My voice is killing me. Hold on, let me take a drink. Okay, so as far as the game goes, like I said, I'm not saying he played perfectly late game because I think he made a lot of mistakes late game, but let's be real. The point I was trying to make a second ago, I played this whole game like crap. Yeah, I went five and one. That looks cool. Awesome. But I played terribly. Okay, I probably shouldn't have lost my Phoenix at certain points, although Jingwei is a pretty hard character to stop from pushing sometimes. Not because she has the best push in the world, but because she's hard to like punish for it. So she just keeps get to she basically gets to play recklessly and push you out and then Nothing happens to her for like the longest time. And um, I'm probably going to title this video something about Circa being underrated or OP or sick or something. And before anybody think, well, you almost lost this game, you know, whatever. Well, first of all, <clears throat> I'm against a Masters player playing a top tier character, especially in this ban list. Jingwei is a top tier character with maybe some broken items. I have no idea how broken these are or how bad these are, or how good these are. I have no idea. But my point is, is I'm against a pretty good player playing a very good character and I played terribly and you still got to see just how dominant that late game is, especially like as soon as I got the spectral online and he can no longer just one shot me within a knock up. He doesn't one shot me, but you know what I mean? I go in, he knocks me up. I'm below half HP and I just can't do anything already, especially with the way that I was playing. Yeah. So, um. Once I got the Spectral Online, it's pretty much over. Um, last item, I don't think I need any anti-heal or anything. 
um, especially with Sir Kettle. Last item, I probably would have went Heartseeker or maybe Deathbringer. I'm not sure. I honestly haven't ran the jungle practice tests, you know, to see like, because her one can crit and she has passive crit on her ult. So um, I don't know which one's better between Heartseeker and Deathbringer uh, on Sir Kett. I would assume Deathbringer is, but it definitely would have been one of those two items, last item. Um, I think my relics were perfect. I think you guys would probably agree. Um, I, I think I didn't always use them perfectly, but I think in the right situation of those late game fights, it's just so beautiful. You go on her, you see Sierra a bunch. She has a few seconds where she needs to turn and burn or run away. And it, in some of those fights, she just can't run away. She can't get out. So therefore, her only option is to turn and burn, and I pop the thorns. And even if the new thorns wasn't so good, and that circle explosion didn't hit her, sometimes it still makes her to. It still is a defensive relic that makes her stop hitting me. That's something that some people need to take into consideration. Because <clears throat> truth be told, I don't know. I don't even know if my thorns hit her half the time. I really don't know. But what I do know is it intimidated her and made her want to walk away and stop hitting me while my cooldowns were coming back up, and that's really powerful. So overall. I think it was a good game, man. I think I played like crap in the early. I think he played a little bit bad in the late game. Um, but overall, I think it was a good video, man. I, I think even in this late game fight, yeah, I have a glyph. Yeah, I had a power potion. But even in this late game fight, technically he was ahead of me. Like he had a charged morning star over me. Now the power potion is better than that, right? But it's still like I'm talking about I'm talking about like a uh, gold here, which is kind of funny because I actually do have more gold near the end, although. I think that's all. That's probably all of it. Like what I'm trying to get at here is I think they had more gold than me slash we were even. And then once I killed her and then cleared all those minion waves and was in the process of killing the Titan and whatnot, I think that's when I got more gold than her, like from the kill gold and the uh, few waves I cleared after. But I could be wrong. I don't know. The point is, is in the build, they're actually further ahead than me. And I just kind of obliterated them. It wasn't even really that close, to be honest. Sir Kett's Fire, you guys should try her out. Really fun character. I had a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.